I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh, my legs, they're dead. I lifted it, what, three times in a row. I also have to lift it today because the weight room isn't gonna be open tomorrow and I won't be here tomorrow anyways. So I plan to at least get my lift in today, but I feel the fatigue and that isn't fun. Also, it is going to rain, I think. According to the weather, it's going to rain. Uh, so let's hope I get out before it does rain. I mean, it's just supposed to rain right now, but it's not happening. We've got a couple more, you know, hours until it actually rains. You can see the clouds. So yeah, we gotta get onto this workout. Y'all, after that warm up lap and some strides, I'm gassed and I feel the food in my stomach after two hours. It's crazy. So uh, this is gonna be a wild training day. My legs, they're barely moving out here. I can definitely feel my left calf fatigued, but hey, it's gonna be fun, right? Oh, I've never felt like this before. Just kidding, I have. But I haven't felt like this in a while. I feel like crap. Legs, sore. Stomach kinda hurts because I ate two hours ago. But it'll be a chill workout today. Some like 230s as always for a warm up. And then I was thinking to do 80s. So that'll be like a fly 80 plus like a float. So it's like you flow in between the 80 for like 20 meters and then kind of be a little more aggressive afterwards. Yeah, so it'll be 80, 60, 80, 60 basically. Top speed pretty much. And uh, yeah, I mean, we'll see how this goes. I feel like crap, but hey, we got left after. <laughs> but um. Thing is, is like I kind of injured my shoulder a little bit. It's been injured for a while, but kind of a bit worse. So I'm off the bench. I can't do any push-ups or stuff that involves my chest at the moment. So I know the the lifting workout would have some of that stuff in. So I'll probably be skipping that. So I'll make my workout a bit easier and quicker. But other than that, it's gonna be fun. I'm also gonna be using spikes today, just because. I feel like I need it. I think from sprinting in trainers, it kind of added a little more aggravation to my tendons. I don't know why, um, but it did. So I'm just gonna go back to spikes. Hopefully, hopefully uh, my feet don't hurt, but no promises. It's also kind of hot. I just started sweating right, right after my lap. Like I said, it's gonna be fun. But if you made it this far in the video, comment down below, sweaty, just so I know, you know, who actually makes it through this part of the video. I know it's a little boring because I don't add that much, you know, editing or music, but I feel like, you know, your dopamine already gets fried enough. You don't need more of this, you know, in your system. Plus you get to see, you know, what I do for training. Most of it is kind of repetitive, but you know, the basics, the little things add up over time. But anyways, enjoy the track sounds. Okay, so basically, those starts felt pretty good. I honestly felt like I was projecting well and nicely. So we're gonna continue on this workout. Some things are a little hurting a little bit, but hey, you know, who isn't hurting, right? So I'm gonna set up the cones or basically my shoes as the markers of where I need to be floating and going places. This is gonna be a fun workout. Like I always say, it's gonna be fun. It's all about the mindset, you know? Sometimes the workout actually sucks, which does suck, 
But if you tell yourself, hey, it's fine. It's gonna make me better. It's gonna make me run faster, hold my speed better, make me a better athlete overall. That's the mindset to have, especially with hard workouts. Go in there positively, don't go in there negatively because you're gonna be benefiting anyways. So that's like the only positive. So there's nothing to worry about. Be positive when you go into your workouts. All right, let me explain it to you. So at this steeple chase mark over there, that's where I'll be starting the full phase to my water bottle. And then to that water bottle to this mark right here is like 10 meters. So that's when I'm gonna be pushing a little bit more. And that's like up to the 80 mark. This is the 80 mark. I have to start at the 110 hurdle mark in order to make it 80 meters. But it's the water bottle to the steeple is where I float. Down with the first set. Oh, my legs, let me tell you, let me tell you. They're heavy. I can't I can't run as well as I want to. I can't be super fluid. But I think the most important part is hitting my mechanics, being you know forceful, correct, not strained. That's just the biggest factor at this point. Can't force speed because then speed won't come. Yeah, taking around like eight minutes of rest until I start the next set. But basically, as a top speed workout, make sure you get full rest between your reps and sets so you don't, you know, make this an endurance workout. You need that maximum rest in order to reap the benefits. But got to rest a little more and then on to set number two. Lovely. We're all done of the running portion today. I'm gonna do a little quick jog, cool down. Man, go to trainers and lift. Made it back into Boston. Forgot to film my outro, so here I am. If you like the video, give it a like. Make sure you subscribe. And if you haven't seen the last video, I'll put it right here. See you later.